Foundation Cornerstone, Chapter 1 The Redemption of Mankind from Sin Let's look in the Gospel of John, Chapter 3. John, Chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Mankind has been held captive by their sin ever since the fall. The power of sin over people's lives is now broken by the power of the blood of Christ. We are dead to sin because we are alive in Christ. We still notice sinful desires because of our flesh. Yet because of Jesus' sacrifice, we have the power. Only by the Holy Spirit, yes, but we have the power to repent and turn away from those desires and dead works to live as new creatures in Christ. Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5, verses 17 through 19. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign by the life of one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came, upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Romans chapter 6 Romans chapter 6 verses 22 through 23 But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness, and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The redemption of mankind from sin.